Hello, beautiful people. All oh, by the grace of God, we are back. We are back on screen. This is a, this feels good. I have missed every one of you, but I am so grateful that I am back on the screen. Yes, I am back and excited because there are a lot of messages that God has to want to be delivered to you. And I cannot wait for you to receive these messages. I am so grateful for your test messages that you have sent to me. Oh, these, these, are they, those test messages were very, you know, it was, it was touching just to prove to me that I am doing a good job out there and I thank all of you that have sent your test messages I am back and by the grace of God we will all go through these and we will all conquer our kindness in the mighty name of Jesus today we are about to dive into the word and into prayer if you are new in this place my name is rose kelty and this is rose kelty ministry platform on this platform we are a word-based faith people we we use the word of god in all things that we do in our prayer life we use the word the word is our ultimate foundation and we are so grateful that we are here to inspire one another to move out of their comfort zone to pursue what god has given them based on the word and through the word the, the holy spirit and also to grow spiritually yes to grow spiritually that we will not be the children that we used to be but we will be the children that god has called to get matured so on this platform that is all that is about and i hope that is stay to after this short commercial break when we will dive into the word Okay, so today we want to talk about the desert. The desert, you know, many of us as children of God, it is in the desert that we give up. We give up our calling, our purpose, our, our victories. We give up all this in the desert. But today I am praying that by the end of this message and this prayer, your mind will come back to these things that whenever it's happening in your life, you will know that you are in the desert and you will know what to do in order to conquer your desert what is a desert a desert is a place of abandon a desert is a place of dryness a place where nobody wants to live where nobody wants to you know to to to, to, to take their life and live there when you listen to the, the story of the israelite god have called moses after the israelite have been praying for a while that god should come and save them out of bondage and out of what uh, uh, slavery and finally when God heard their prayer God did not take them straight to the corner God has to take them through the desert to prepare them to the corner and even to prepare them for the fight that is ahead of them because to conquer your corner is not going to come easy like that you need to go to the desert going through the desert Going through the desert is a place where God prepares you for your word, for the, the task that is ahead of you. In your desert, that is where God actually confirmed your call, the call that he has called you to do here on earth. Because through the desert, he is going to teach you. He is going to mold you. He is going to rebuild you. He is going to restructure you. And you are now going to get yourself ready to go out there and do that which God has caught you. Again, let's take the life of Jesus. When Jesus was ready, the Bible says he went to the Jordan and he was baptized and now ready to start the what his assignment here on earth. But where did the Holy Spirit lead him? Into the desert. And what happened in the desert? That is another story for another day. But I want you to understand that there are signs that you have to see that whenever these signs are around you, you have to understand that I'm in the desert and there is a new a new, a new level that God wants to take me through or to but if you are not able to go to that desert you cannot get to the next level yes you cannot get to the next level that is why most of us we are finding ourselves behind we are not progressing in life because we are missing out our desert preparations 
our desert promotions because it is through the desert that you are going to be promoted let me tell you one thing in the desert and during the desert and after the desert there is always after the desert there is celebration after the desert there is always a result after the desert oh my god you will always be the head and not the tail that is why god allowed me to have this message to break down for you to break it down for you how will, how will you how will you see that you are in the desert i have some words that i want to tell i want to show you today that will make you aware when the desert is around you, when you are finding yourself dried, when you are feeling dried in your spirit, when you are you, when I say dry, it's like nothing seems to work for you. Nothing seems to, you know, anything that you do, it is not coming out the way the result is supposed to. That is the time that you have to know that you are in your desert and you need to seek the face of God. When you are in the desert, what one thing that you will realize that there are too much bad that you are fighting, there are trials, there are, there are tribulations in the desert. You labor in the desert is pain. In the desert, you don't enjoy, you don't celebrate. In the desert, you 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 you, you don't you don't marry. When you when again when you take the life of the Israel when they were in the desert, what happened? There was a time that there were no food. There was a time that there was no, there, there were no water to, for them to drink. There were a lot of things that they. What they, 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 they were in need of in the desert. That is the time that you have to know that mm, I am in the desert and I have to be very, very careful. Brother and sister, the desert is not a place where you now complain. It is not a place to complain. Do you remember the story about Jesus and Satan? It is not a place. It is a place to put the devil in his place. You don't negotiate with the devil in the desert. When he tells you that if you do not sleep with this man, Man that is not married to you, you will not have money to pay your bills, you will not have money to take care of those school fees, you will not be able to wear all the fashionable designs and you know the, the fashions in around. It, that is a negotiation with the devil. If you are in that place, the devil is telling you that if you do not, somebody did not bribe you and pay some amount of money behind the scene for you to be rich that is a negotiation with the devil in the desert you don't negotiate with the devil you put the devil where he belongs when he says something you let me him understand that you are a child of god and you will put back and you will send back the word you will you will reply him back with the word that is where you have to you, that is that is what you have to do when in you are in the desert Thank you.